Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I want you to know that I'm a waste not want not girl. I'm also very annoyed with myself sometimes because I can be extremely rough and I hate it when the beautiful base of my vase gets chipped because it does happen. You know when you've got it full of water and flowers and you go to put it down and you knock the base off on the edge of a surface and just like that it falls to the ground and there have been times where I've chipped it here and the chip has run all the way up to the top and flowers and water have gone all over the floor and it makes me very annoyed with myself. So I have lots of these and I got me thinking of how could I reuse this. I've looked at gluing another, uh, a ba another base to the base of the stem. Uh -uh, just doesn't work because I have not to this day found a glue that is as good as E6000. But I don't like the chemicals that go with the E6000. And a little tip from me, when you read the base or the underneath side or the labelling on the E6000, it does give a huge safety health warning just sharing so what I have done is I found to create another base that was stronger and sturdier I found two pieces of wood and I've cut one margin I think this is six, uh, five by five and then I found another piece that was a bit smaller and a bit chunkier and I have just glued uh, just glued and screwed underneath if you can't do that go to the hardware store and I'm sure there'll be a man that can do it for you quick and easy won't take him any more than a few minutes to that you then need to drill out a little hole I know it's a little bit mess a bit fiddly but that's all you need to glue drill out that little hole there so that when that goes into there it's going to fit now there's one more thing I forgot to tell you often it will come away, this bit here will come away and it will be still a little bit dangerous and jaggedy. So just put some safety glasses on, get some strong sandpaper and just sand away all of those rough edges so that you don't have to worry about that. The next thing, oh, I'll put that down gently there because I don't want that rolling onto the floor and making a mess. The next thing is my very, very best friend and craft, my best craft friend is Sally's Liquid No Nails. It comes in clear and it comes in sort of a bisky colour. This is fantastic stuff. This glues anything to anything. Takes 24 hours to cure off, might take a bit longer. Just be patient. Into this hole here, it's just a matter of, and I love this pump into here. You can buy these in those long things, but you know, I couldn't, I didn't have one of those. This is, this is easy for me to use. And once I've, so you just like fill the whole inside of the cavity make sure that there isn't any left onto there put the cap on straight away and then it's just a matter of very gently pushing that down and into there now the next thing you have to do is step back and make sure that it is level because if it's not level you're going to hate yourself when you've done it. Okay so as I said put that to one side and let that cure for a good 24 hours even longer. Now once you have done that it's a matter of painting it up. So this vase started life exactly the same as that, glued it in, painted the whole thing and now that is ready for decorating. I just love this idea, waste not want not, it's great. So from there, I tell you I do it all the time. Here is another container of which I broke the base so I've done exactly the same and then I've used the transfer rub-ons to embellish the outside of it and then I managed to find these gorgeous little porcelain flowers oh they're so lovely which I have just glued and stuck in and around the edge now I've got lots of ways of how to embellish vases coming up but that was my very first one I wanted to share with you so how cool is that how beautiful is that from could have gone to the trash to a new life to embellish to suit I hope you've enjoyed this I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day